Silk City Storytime here at the Saya Household. Today we are excited to read We Count, a book about the census for children of all ages. It's got a dual purpose, right? So children will learn how to read and also count. And counting is important because everyone counts when it comes to the census. That's right. So We Count is a 2020 census counting book for young children and the grown-ups who love them. And we have three young children ourselves, so we definitely know how important it is to count those three. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Sure, shall we? We shall. Who counts in America? Every 10 years, we answer that question by counting each and every person who lives in this country. It is called the census, and the next one starts in March 2020. Wait a second, March 2020? Didn't that pass already? We're well into it. We are. So we are in April 2020, which means... You should have already completed it. If you haven't, you still have time. And Patterson's response rate is a little under 40%. We can do much better. So hopefully if you're watching this, make sure you respond to the census survey. Please. In the last census, many families forgot to count their babies and young children. So here's a book to help everyone learn to count. Young and old, we all count. Are we taking turns? Sure. Ladies go first. first. Okay. You did go first. Yes. So, I am Miss Faith. See, I'm not Miss Faith. She's Miss Faith. <laughs> I am one where I live. Young and old, we all count. How many people live with you? In this book, my friends and I will help everyone, young and old, learn to count in the 2020 census. The great thing about this book, it also teaches us parents how to read to their children and help all of us count. So let's move on to the next person. <laughs> My name is Katya. I love the name. We are, yeah, it's a nice name. One, Unique. two, where I live, young and old, we all count. What color is Katya's dress? What color is her mother's shirt? What colors are you wearing? It's interesting. Katya lives with her mother most <clears throat> of the time. But when her mom works late, Katya stays overnight with her grandma or with an aunt. Who should count Katya on the census? Oh, good a very question. Valid question. Her mother puts Katya on the census because Katya stays most nights with her. Children should be counted where they sleep most of the time. Some kids sleep at different places, so it may not be clear where they spend most nights. In that case, count that child where they slept on April 1st, 2020. Which is considered census day. That's right. There you go. You're doing very well. So are you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just getting started. <laughs> My name is James. We are one, two, three where I live. Young and old, we all count. James's new baby brother is still in the hospital. Let's think of a good name for James's brother. I have one. Let's call him Census. <laughs> or Patterson. Patterson Census. Okay. Hashtag it. <laughs> Well, did you go into the detail? That's for you to delve into. I'll delve into yeah. it. This is tricky. There are three people where James lives, but now there are four people in his family. His mother just had a new baby, but the baby is still in the hospital. Who should be counted? This is a tricky census count. New babies that are still in the hospital are counted with their, are counted with their family. There are three people where James lives, but on the census, there are four in the household. James, his two parents, and his new baby brother are all counted on the same census. Don't forget, even tiny babies in the hospital need to be counted on the census. The census is done every 10 years. If James or his baby brother are not counted, then how will his community know what they will need for the next 10 years? If James is not counted, there may not be a seat ready when he starts kindergarten. Child care programs may not have a spot for his baby brother. And you talked about 10 years. It takes less than 10 minutes to fill out the form. So don't set us back a decade by not doing something that will take you less than 10 minutes. That's right. That'll determine the next 10 years. I agree. <laughs> I think I hear one of our children. It was actually your turn, but oh. my name is Sophia, which is our eldest daughter's name. And we counted her on the census because my wife filled it out the first opportunity we had which was March 12th. That's right. And for the first time ever, it's available, the census survey, that is, online. 
My name is Sophia. We are one, two, three, four where I live. Young and old, we all count. So there's four people in our house. I see a green bead. Can you find it? Here's a hint. I'm pointing to orange. I'm pointing to purple. And now I'm pointing to Sophia, her brother, Kadir, right? Mm -hmm. Her mother and her father all live to get the same address. Who should be counted? I think that's quite obvious. That's pretty, in that's pretty easy. They're all counted as one household. In the last census, many families forgot to count their young children. Everyone counts. Statistics show that the hardest to reach demographic group, children between the ages of zero and five. So the government doesn't know about these children. States get money for child care, schools, and health care based on the number of children counted in the census. Our community could sure use the money. That's Patterson. We That's have right. overcrowding conditions. We're both parents, and my wife is adamant. And she's an active parent. She's in her PTO. She's a vice president. And she's always fighting for more resources for our students. And what better resource than another school facility to alleviate overcrowding conditions? Absolutely. Making sure we have the resources for our children and all children here in the city of Patterson. Okay, let's look at the next family. My name is Frankie. We are one, two, three, four, five where I live. Young and old, we all count. Who do you think is older, Frankie or his brother? Why do you think that? His brother got a distinct height advantage on him. That's true. Yeah. Frankie, his brother Tomas, and his sister Nina live with their grandparents, Nono and Nona. But their grandparents live in a building that is only for senior citizens. So if anyone asks, they all pretend that Frankie, Tomas, and Nina are just visiting. Who should be counted? Frankie, Tomas, Nina, and their grandparents all count on the census. True answers to the census will help their community. They will not, I repeat, they will not be in trouble for those answers. Why? By law, the census is private and answers are not shared with anyone, not landlords or police. The information is only used to answer big questions about communities like how many people live in this city? Like how many people live in the city of Patterson? What are their ages and ethnicities? Questions like these will help everyone understand what people and communities need. So for instance, if you're six years old, we are gonna plan for your next 10 years between now and when you turn 16. At that point, you might almost get your driver's license, right? I would think. And so, so then we, uh, we need to make sure the roads are ready for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's true. We can resurface our streets. Um, yeah. For example, if the census shows that a neighborhood has many young children, the local government can plan to open another school, change laws or build new housing so children like Frankie, Tomas, and Nina can live without worry in their grandparents' senior housing. Very valid point. Okay, so my name is Maria, common name. We are one, two, three, four, five, six in my house or where I live. Young and old, we all count. Which bead is the same color as the hot peppers? What color is that? Can you find anything else that color of that color on that page? I think it's red. Yeah, sometimes it's good to look at it up close. Let me read the other side. No, no okay, you go for it. Filling out, the, and that's my son calling me, filling out the census form will be a bit tricky. Sometimes there are as many as six people where Maria lives, but Maria's brothers are not living at home right now. Juan lives with his aunt. Carlos is in the army. Rosa is Maria's foster sister and lives in the household now. Who should be counted? Only four people, Maria, Rosa, her mother and father are counted on the census. Children in foster care are counted where they live. So Rosa is counted with Maria's family. Juan is living with his aunt. So he should be counted on his aunt's census form. And I hope Juan lives in Patterson or his aunt. Family members in the army like Carlos will be counted by the military. Anyone living away from home at college, a prison, in a homeless shelter, an elder care facility or any other such place will be counted there. Now with this pandemic, I don't think there are many students who are still at college. Mm -hmm. I highly doubt it. So they're at home. So if they were at home by April 1st, they count where they were. And chances are they, they were, were here. Home. Yep. Okay. My name is Sammy. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big household. Yeah, where I live, young and old, we all count. Sammy is six years old. Can you find the number six bead? Hmm, I guess they are. Yeah, you got to find it in there. Can you find 
What color is that bead? What? Sammy and his sister Aisha live with their parents and grandmother. Many relatives stay at Sammy's house when they first come to live in the United States. Uncle Omar is living with them right now. So is Cousin Joe. Who should be counted? Anyone staying at Sammy's house on April 1st, 2020 with no other fixed address should be counted. This includes Sammy, his mother, father, grandmother, his sister Aisha, and Cousin Joe, who is here to study. Don't forget Uncle Omar. Even though he is sleeping on the couch until he finds a new place, he is counted with Sammy's family. Because, hey, maybe he ends up in an apartment nearby. We still want to count him. Poor old Omar. I know. The couch isn't always so comfortable. <laughs> I, can, I know. Well, I've actually never slept on the couch in all the years that we've been married. Keep it that way. Voluntarily. <laughs> I, may have, I may have slept, fallen asleep to a Mets game or two. My name is Frida. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, where I live. Young and old. We all count. Frida lives with her parents, her brother, her grandma, her aunt, Elena, and two cousins. They move every spring so Frida's parents and aunt can work. Who should be counted? All of Frida's family should be counted where they live on April 1st, 2020. If Frida's family does not get a census invitation with a census ID number, it may have been lost during the move. Frida's family can call the census helpline to find out. Right now, we need a helpline here for Aiden because I think somebody took the phone away from me. It's probably Sophia. The phone number is on the last page of this book. I'll show you later. In fact, there you go. Those are the numbers to call as far as the census form is concerned. Aiden's probably upset he's not taking part in Silk City story time. Or they can take the census online with their census ID number. And your timing is impeccable. I'm your ready. Your wife, who got all dressed up for Silk City Storytime. All dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> nowhere to go. But her couch to read to you. That's important. That's right. I love my Patterson family. My name is Shanti. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine people where I live. Young and old, we all count. I'm going to skip this bottom part. Yes, I, I did that too. You noticed. Shanti just came with her mother, father, and favorite doll to live in the United States. Luckily, another family from their village has turned their garage into a home where Shanti and her parents can live. Who should be counted? Shanti and her family live at their own private place, but they share an address with another family so they will not receive a letter or invitation in the mail from the census with their census ID number. But Shanti's <laughs> family needs to be counted. Shanti's father can call or go online to complete their census on a non-ID questionnaire form. He will give the location description as a separate unit located at the shared address. So they should still fill it out even though they are living in a garage home for now that's correct okay my name is patience and with a name like that how could she ever get upset <laughs> we are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the amount of time it could take you to fill out the form ten minutes the amount of time it takes to get another opportunity to fill out the form that's right ten years young and old we all count Patience and her mother live in apartment 5G. They do not know some of the people who share 5G with them. Many people come and go. Some are friendly, while others are quiet. Who should be counted? Every person living in 5G should be counted, young and old. And they should be on the same census form. Any adult living in 5G can fill out the form and should be sure to include everyone who lives there. Even Aiden. <laughs> Even if this is an illegal, illegal sublet, it is safe to give the census information. Only census workers will see this information. They will not and cannot, by law, share it with the landlord or with housing, immigration, or law enforcement officials. If the form is not filled out, a census worker will come to the apartment to help fill out the form. If you don't want this visit, then the form needs to be completed by the end of March. Fortunately, with this pandemic, that has changed. Yeah. So they've extended the deadline. Mm -hmm. And so make sure, and thanks for joining us for Silk City Storytime, make sure... 
that you fill out the form. And if you need a copy of the book, we can make that happen as well. Any parting shots, my lovely wife? Well, I think what's key is that we count everyone. We learn how to count. That was the point of today's session of Silk City Storytime. We hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, definitely shoot us a note via Facebook or via YouTube. That's Thanks right. so much. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.